Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to write a small Kotlin program to learn the Kotlin programming basics. So in the IDE, how to enable the Kotlin programming? Click on Preferences, then Plugins, and search for Kotlin. So it's already been installed in my IDE. And in the Compiler section, Kotlin Compiler details you can see here. I've written the class called kotlinbasics.kt. The extension is kt. So I've written a top level function, fun, main, and the arguments. So this is the main entry to the program. So in this program, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list of person with name and age and find out which person is the oldest one. So we are creating a list of person. Person is a data class. What is a data class? Data class is a class which contains only states and no operations. It's like a POJO or DTO from Java. In Java, we will have all the getters and setters, all boilerplate code to create hash code equals methods, true string method. But in Kotlin, it's very simple. We have to mark it as data class and you will get everything. For example, hash code equals two string getters and setters. And we can also avoid Lombok plugin when we use Kotlin programming language. If you look at this person data class, it takes the arguments in the constructors val, name, string, val, each int. Val we specify for the final variables. You cannot modify these variables. Whenever I specify val, we cannot modify it. So this is the variable name and this is the data type. And here this is the variable name and this is the data type. So what is the meaning of this question mark? The meaning is it's nullable. We can assign null to this variable. Whereas here we don't have any question mark. The meaning is it's non-nullable. We cannot assign null to this variable. That's the meaning of this question mark. So the idea here is at compile time, we can handle null. For example, I'm creating a variable called deposit, which is an integer and I'm assigning null. It says null cannot be a value of non-null type int, meaning this is a non-null type and I'm assigning null. That's why the compiler is giving an error. So when I put a question mark here, this is fine for now, meaning nullable. So at compile time, we can decide which variable we can assign null and not null. The next line, we are taking the list and then calling max by method and it takes the lambda. This is a lambda. Whereas in Java, we will have a syntax like this. But in Kotlin, this is a lambda, a block of code that we are passing to this method. If you see here, we are passing a lambda and it will be used inside to find out the maximum value. So this method returns the maximum value. We pass the age, it will calculate maximum value and we will be getting the oldest person. So when I run this program, I'm able to get the oldest person from this group using the max by method. It's a very small Kotlin program. Please try out. Hope this information is useful. Thank you.